Hello, in this video we're going to see how to use differentiation to graph a function. Before we do that, let's understand the concept. So if I give you a graph, okay, if I give you a graph, so something that looks like this. Okay, now say this is the maximum point. It has to be a straight line, but we can understand. So this is the minimum point of the graph. Okay, now, if the graph is increasing from left to right, if the graph is going up, we say that the differentiation at that point is bigger than zero. Suppose this is a function of y. So remember, if the graph is going up, the differentiation at any point here will be positive because the tangent at each point is positive. Similarly, if the graph is going down, the differentiation is negative. That's called the graph is decreasing. And similarly, if it's going up, it is increasing. So, if the question is in a graph to find the maximum point, or we can say local max, say this point and that point, this is the minimum point, this is the maximum point, then the maximum point lies where y prime is bigger than 0 and y prime is less than 0. So, it lies between the two points. So, at that point, the y prime is equal to zero. And similarly, if it goes from negative to positive, the y prime is also equal to zero here. So at the maximum point as well as the minimum point, the differentiation has to be equal to zero. Now, how do we check if it's a max or a min? On the left of it, it has to be positive, and the right of it, it needs to be negative. Then it is a maximum point. If on a left of a point it is negative and the right of it it is positive then it will be a local minimum and this will help you find the maximum and the minimum points on the graph the local max and the local min in the graph. So once again at local max and local min the y prime is zero on the left, if it is positive and right negative, it is a max. On the left, if it is negative, and on the right, if it is positive, it's a min, local min. Now, it'll make more sense when we do an example. So, let's do an example. So, say I give you y equals so x cubed plus I don't know, 9x squared, something like this. And the question is, find the local max and the local min. It means find the point where the graph is like this, this point, and for the local min, find the point where the graph is like that. Okay, so these are the steps. Step 1. You find the differentiation of the function, which is 3x square plus 18x, right, from the power rule. Now remember, at the local max and the local min, y prime is 0. So make this equal to 0 and solve for x. If you solve for x, it'll either be 0 or 6, right? So you can do this by factorizing or quadratic formula. Uh, negative 6. So x is either 0 or x is negative 6. Now these points here are called the critical points. 
So in step one, the answer for x is called the critical points. Now step two, now they both are critical points. It means they can either be max or min. So now we need to check which one is max and which one is min. So let's check x equal to zero first. So what you do is try to draw this on the number line. And you have the left of zero and the right of zero. Now on the left of zero, pick any point. So negative one, any point you want. And then the right of zero, pick a point, say one. Now take this point and plug it in y prime. So in place of x here, plug in negative one. What do you get? y prime equals 3 minus 18, which is negative 15, which is less than 0. It means the graph is going down here because the y prime has turned out to be negative. Similarly, plug in 1 here, y prime becomes 21, which is bigger than 0. It means the graph is going up here. It means the graph is going down and then up. So it means at the point zero we have a minimum. Okay, similarly check at negative six. Draw it on the number line. Pick a point on the left of negative six. Okay, let's pick negative seven and pick an easy point here. The easiest one is don't pick zero because zero is also a critical point. Say negative one, which you already picked here. Now plug the negative seven in the y prime. Or what do you get? Let me quickly do this. So three times negative seven square plus eighteen times negative seven. We get y prime is 21, which is bigger than 0. It means the graph is going up here. Negative 1, we already know we get negative 15. So it means the graph is going down here. So on the left is going up. And on the right of it is going down. It means the graph is behaving like this here. It means at the point negative 6, we have a max. So if you try to graph this, so this is 0, this is negative 6. The behavior of graph is like this. It's going up here, then down here, and then back up here. Then plug in the negative 6 and 0 into the main function to get the y points. So if you plug in 0 into the main function y, you get 0 as the second point. And if you plug in negative 6, you get a 108. So this point here straight line is 108. So that's how you find the local max and the local min in your function with the help of differentiation. Now we'll do more of this in the next video. But remember if the question is find local max, local min, step one, find y prime, make it equal to zero, find the critical points. Draw them on the number line and check on the left and the right of it. Depending on their behavior, you'll get to know if it's a max or a min, local max or a local min. There's another concept of global max, which we'll see later on, but this is local max and local min. Okay, I hope that made sense. Any questions, tap in below.